let's not lie. I know we all saw the video of this guy. And I came out to comment about Mercy Chimu's child. I can't even say it. Neither can I even play the video because it is highly insensitive, sir. I don't know if I'm shouting. Exactly. Now, they filed the guy a lawsuit. The guy came out on social media and started to cry. Aww. I just laughed. Meanwhile, when he even made the video, people were trying to correct him. Don't say things like that. He was giving them back. <laughs> this is social media. Allow me to air my view. <laughs> now he comes out to cry. The same people now are still saying, sir, to air is human, but forgiveness is air. Okay. I just okay. laugh. <laughs> Let me tell you a short story. If you have ever lived in Lagos or any city that mad people are, you <laughs> agree with me that uh, this is relatable, sir. I was in a bus many years ago. Damn for bus. The driver was driving recklessly. Everybody complained, Oga, oh, take it easy. He was giving them back. Come on, Oga, oh, mind your business. Which in the, today had a drive for Lagos. He was apparently reeling of alcohol. That is to say, I don't know if I'm shouting, sir. Not up to 10 minutes into the journey, on Lekki Ekpe Expressway, I saw, first of all, I was seated close to the window side, and then I was admiring this clean Range Rover Sport. I'm telling you, Years ago, I saw the Black Range Rover Sport pass without a plate number. And I was admiring it. Wow, what a beautiful car. And in less than five minutes, on Lucky Face One, I will never forget. We just heard that. <laughs> Apparently, it was the bus that I was in that hit the same Range Rover Sport that I was admiring a few minutes ago. Just what happened next? The driver came down from the car and began to roll on the floor, begging the owner of the car. Oh God, please, I use my family beg you. He removed his clothes. He was almost going there. Uh, I don't know if I'm shouting. Before you know, the whole passengers came down. You see, we don't the one you since. You see, the mask looked at his car. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, the full back. Ah. And then people began to, oh, you see, and in less than three minutes, the same people that were yelling at the driver, you are a very reckless man, you are very this, began to look at the owner of the Range Rover Sport and began to point. Oh, guy, you self leave him now. Ah, uh -uh. you pass all these things. Look, see as this man, they beg you. See as this man, they beg you. The man looked speechless. He couldn't do anything. Don't ask me how it ended because I don't know. I left that scene like that. I don't know if I was doing bad. But then again, this is why I'm saying this. It's good for mercy to have mercy. Don't, don't get me wrong. But with these people learn. I can promise you that uh, that driver left that scene that day. Of course, on hot. The man probably was blackmailed into leaving him alone to go fix his car himself. Because of course, ah, uh -uh, he has the money now. Why not? But I can promise you that that driver turned around, carried that same bus, continued his reckless driving to hit another person to continue the cycle like that. Hey! Because of course, he knows how to get his way now. Oh, oh, he will just need to roll on the floor and he will have people to win his and blackmail the other party into leaving him alone. Exactly. So now, I know we all come out to say there is freedom of speech. I know. But how many of you know that you see these people that have freedom of speechers. They don't like when you are free with your own speech to them. <laughs> Let me explain, sir. Many of the people who say, I say it as it is. I'm a very blunt person. They don't like when you are blunt to them. You don't want In other words, they don't like when you, are, you say it as it is to them. They not give you big names. You are very narcissistic. <laughs> you are a misogynist. They give you a name that you go shock. Ah, ah, this one, the dictionary. <laughs> When did they add it? <laughs> exactly. Many people that say it as it is don't like to hear it as it is. Uh, somebody say shout for me, sir. Okay. Exactly. I just woke up. I said, let me drop my two cents. <laughs> but before I go, I joined this social club when I was in school. Many years ago. It's called, I think it was Interact Club or is it Jet Club? But it's a subsidiary of the Rotary Club. And one of the things that we kept on reciting every meeting was the four-way test. If you know, yeah, this should actually be the anchor for social, for general living. 
because I feel like before you talk, make a comment. It's freedom of speech, no doubt. But ask yourself these four questions before you talk. Is it fair? In other words, if they tell me I go like him, yes, I'll be, nobody says you should not tell you yourself the truth or tell people the truth. But if they tell you the way you they talk him, you go like him. I don't know if I'm shouting, sir. Lastly, before I get out from here, because as, as I just woke up, you see me, I just the wake, I can't even lie. But the truth is, some people will say, mind your business. Eh, mind your business. But have you noticed that where we're supposed to mind our business, we don't mind it. We will now mind it in where we are not supposed to mind it. <laughs> eh, exactly. Look at me now. I just woke up. I saw the video. Shebi, I'm supposed to mind your business. I'm minding what the no mind. Don't, I hope you don't mind, my dear. <laughs>